And I'd like to follow up. Is there a difference between being in salt water, chlorine water, lake water? Does any of that have a different effect on the sunscreen that we're putting on? Not that I know of. Okay. I have some swimmers where, you know, they're doing laps and they're swimming in the water, you know, outdoor pools for one, two hours. Obviously, um, you know, a lot of sun exposure. Will the sun penetrate through one or two inches of water while they're swimming? Can they get burnt even though they think, oh, most of my body is under the water? Not only can they, not only can the sun penetrate through the water, I think the UV rays can actually be amplified by reflective surfaces such as the water, um, snow, or sand. So absolutely, if you're in and out of the water, uh, you should be using sunscreen. In those cases, my preference is, is that patients uh, purchase what we call rash guard shirts, which are sun protective um, pieces of clothing that actually are uh, like swimwear. They have a built-in sunscreen factor of 70 or higher, and those are significantly far superior uh, in sun protective, uh, in obtaining sun protection than even sunscreen would be. Dr. Buddy, is for your patients who have been diagnosed with um, you know, advanced skin cancer, and now they want to go on, they want to live their life, they're being treated, you know, do they need to be totally clothed and protected from sun exposure when they go out, hat, long sleeves, long pants? Um, the patients who might treat with stage three melanoma still have to take all the precautions that they would take in order to protect themselves. And what they're trying to do is protect themselves from a new melanoma developing later. For patients who have stage four melanoma, uh, I think the goal of treatment is somewhat different. The goal of treatment over there is to prolong their life with the best quality of life possible. So uh, in that situation, I cannot get dogmatic about what I would prescribe for them. Certainly there is a drug called temozolomide, which when they are on temozolomide, we suggest they do not be exposed to the sun because that is photosensitizing and can cause a rash. So uh, the population that I deal with is somewhat different from Priya's, and I think we cannot have a general recommendation for everybody. No, and I think, uh, I mean, I like to stress to my patients with sunscreen, uh, with skin cancer, obviously if they've been diagnosed with skin cancer, certainly a worrisome skin cancer, patients are often very fearful. And I like to reassure patients, um, I, I, don't, I don't know of any dermatologist who's ever recommended that their patient you know, sell their lake home or quit golfing or give up swimming. I think the point is to use common sense, use sun protective measures, whether it be sunscreen um, or sun protective clothing, avoid uh, at all costs getting a sunburn, ideally avoid tanning significantly. If they, you know, pick up a shade or two, that's acceptable, especially if it's over many, many months or um, uh, days out in the sun. But other than that, we want patients to enjoy their life, and it really is more about um, having uh, a balance.